and my logbook uh, started growing which is absolutely amazing that i can do this with only five watts so <clears throat> yeah it's it's really fun i'm just gonna put three qsos that i've done uh, recently qsl delta x-ray echo for you is five and nine thank you so much five and nine as well 73 Yeah, I, I'm amazed about this uh, little transceiver and I'm having a lot of fun uh, playing with it. And my logbook uh, started growing, which is absolutely amazing that I can do this with only 5 watts. So <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's really fun. I'm just going to put 3 QSOs that I've done uh, recently. Um, I'm not filming all of them just because uh, I just want to enjoy it and have fun. And uh, I don't have too much time to, to spend on the radio. Sometimes I'm just uh, um, at the computer doing some work and I'm usually listening. But now and then I take a break and, uh, and I answer to a, to a CQ call. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get into it. Oh, by the way, um, today I was planning to build uh, the Yagi antenna, but I'm going to have to postpone it for next week because I'm still uh, missing a couple of parts. Um, so I've built some really nice um, uh, plastic uh, insulators. They're not ex exactly insulators, actually. Let's see. Uh, they're just to keep the distance uh, from the boom uh, to the element. Um, and that's because I'm trying to uh, have them at the same level with the driven element. Uh, I'm working on the boom. I have to extend it somehow because I couldn't find anything longer than one meter. And uh, I've cut all the elements uh, to their dimensions uh, for two meters and also 70 centimeters. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this one uh, during this week and then I'll, I'll uh, post the video uh, next week. So yeah, anyway, uh, let's have fun with, uh, with the transceiver and uh, talk a little bit about the QSOs that I had. All right, first QSO, very, very quick. It was uh, Dimitri, Dima. Um, he, his call sign, it's Radio Tango, Five Tango. Uh, I was not expecting him to, uh, <laughs> to hear me, but he did. Um, I've had him on the list of QSOs that I really want to make just because I used to listen to him many, many times for the past two years. Uh, on the Sputnik region receiver. So yeah, I was really excited about this one. Uh, let's have a listen really quick. Any QRT, any QRT station from Radio Tango 5 Tango? Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-Ray Echo, QRP. Yankee Oscar, Yankee Oscar, Yankee Oscar station? Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-Ray Echo, QSL? Okay, uh... Gentlemen, please listen, please listen. Only Yankee Oscar, Yankee Oscar QRP station, please. Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-ray Echo QRP. QSL? Okay, two, uh, two stations, two stations from Yankee Oscar. No, no, Yankee Oscar 6, Delta Fox QRP. Delta, Yankee Oscar 6, Delta Fox Truck QRP. You're 5x5, five 5x5, by five, five by five. QSL? Uh, negative, negative. Delta X-ray Echo. Delta X-ray Echo. QSL? Okay, Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-ray Echo. So QRP, QSL. You're 5x5, five 5x5. By five, five by five. QSL? Thank you so much, Dima. QSL, you're 5x9, five 5x9. By nine. Five by nine. Beautiful signal, 73. And have a beautiful evening. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Best 73. Now, Yankee Oscar 2. Yankee Oscar 2, QRP station, please. All right, so another fun QSO, um, as you all know, in Croatia right now, there's the Yota event. And uh, I didn't know much about Yota, by the way. I have to say thank you to Maria, uh, Yankee Uniform Tree Ask Alpha Whiskey Alpha, uh, for sharing all this on, on YouTube. And I got to learn about Yota. Uh, but yeah, they have a couple of call signs uh, on air uh, now and then. And I was trying to get all of them. Unfortunately, it's a little bit rainy outside. So who knows, maybe by the end of the event, I managed to get the rest of them. But right now, uh, most of the time, all I could hear is um, uh, thunders. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so far I only got um, uh, 9 Alpha 1 uh, Yota. So uh, yeah, let's uh, hear that QSO really quick. You are at 9 Alpha 1, Yankee Oscar, Tango Alpha. 
Yankee Oscar 6 Delta X-ray Echo QRP. QRP station, please again. QRP station. Yankee Oscar 6 Delta X-ray Echo QSL. Delta Echo Echo, please again. Yankee Oscar 6 Delta X-ray Echo. Yankee Oscar 6 Delta X-ray Echo QSL. Yankee Oscar 6 Delta Echo Echo is this correct? Negative, negative. Delta X-ray Echo. Delta X-ray Echo QSL. QSL Delta X-ray Echo for you is five and nine. Thank you so much. Five and nine as well. Seventy three. Seventy-three, QRZ, nine alpha, yes. one, Yota. I got one station. Maria, I have to get the other one. All right, so um, another fun Q QSO that I tried making uh, was with my friend Hendrik in Germany. Uh, one of these evenings we tried a QSO. Um, his call sign is Delta Kilo 8, Hotel Mike. And uh, yeah. We tried, but uh, we were not that lucky. I went to the store really quick to do some shopping and by the time I came back, it started raining outside. Uh, we still tried to, to do a QSO, uh, but the propagation was not that good anymore. And uh, yeah, he could hear me, I couldn't, uh, no, I could hear him, he couldn't hear me. Um, but at least we tried, it was a lot of fun. Thank you, Hendrik, for trying. Uh, no worries, I'm sure there will be uh, days with uh, better propagation and we'll succeed at some point. So anyway, let's listen to that QSO really quick um, as well. Delta Kilo 8 Hotel Mike, this is Yankee Oscar 6 Delta X-Ray Echo QSL. Oh, I hear a very, very, very weak signal, but I can't read it. Um, yeah, and partially it's, uh, it's too, um, it's too weak, your signal. Well, at least I get to, to hear you, uh, Hendrik, and <laughs> I'm happy I get to hear you on, uh, on the radio as well. Microphone back to you. Wait a second, I will try another antenna. I will try another antenna. Please stand by. We try another day, Hendrik. We try another day. Uh, <laughs> Yankee Oscar 6 Delta X ray Echo for Delta Kilo 8 Hotel Mike. No, I can't copy you. I can't hear you talking, but I can't copy you. Well, you can't have them all working, but at least we tried. Maybe we can try some other evening. Right now it's raining outside, so no luck. But I did have some good contacts today, so I'm happy. Uh, yeah, next time. Hendrik. <laughs> and of course, a very, very big thank you to Andre, uh, Yankee Oscar 6, uh, Tango Juliet Juliet from uh, rawwaves.com for sending it uh, to me. I am having so much fun. I'm feeling like a like a little kid every time I'm I'm listening and I'm transmitting on it. So yeah, um, it was really annoying uh, that I got my license and I had no transceiver to use. So yeah, I'm very very happy to to use this one. And uh, yeah, QRP is amazing. <laughs> it's fun uh, trying to see how far you can get uh, with only five watts and. I believe that I could um, increase that distance if I would use CW, but I'm still learning it. Um, let's see, I, I have a thing that I want to do a QSO in CW uh, for my birthday on September 4th. So I'm learning the code right now, but I'm, uh, it's going kind of slow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but for sure with CW, I will increase that distance a lot more. One more way to actually increase the distance would be maybe to build a dipole for the 20 meters band because the 20 meter band seems really really active i love uh, 40 meters band especially to uh, for cw because i think it's more active in cw on the 40 meters band 
but uh, 20 meters for SSB is great and uh, since the antenna would not be that big maybe I can build a dipole or who knows uh, maybe a Yagi <laughs> with three four elements mm, we'll see how much space I have in the backyard for that and uh, probably I'm gonna try vertical uh, similar to the DX Commander uh, antenna um, and that's just because um, uh, I like the X Commander antenna, but right now my budget doesn't like it. <laughs> so yeah, um, instead of ordering a, a DX Commander antenna, I might have to build one, but probably not for so many bands. It's just for a couple of bands that I'm using here on the on the transceiver. And um, I will test it with 40 and 20 for now, and then maybe later on I can uh, improve it and build more bands into it. But anyway, yeah, Callum, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not ordering an antenna. I really love your videos. I really love your antennas. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to try to build one. But uh, yeah, anyway, this is uh, the whole video for this week. It's very, very short. Um, I'm really sorry. But I'm trying to build a lot of things um, that I can use. I'm trying to finish this Yagi antenna to get into the, the uh, some QSOs uh, using satellites and uh, Baofeng. I've been waiting 40, 42 years. I'm 42 in September. Well, I only started dreaming about it since I was nine, eight, nine years old, let's say uh, 30 years, right? So I've been dreaming 30 years to, to be able to do this. So um, right now I, I took a break from building stuff and actually I'm just enjoying this as much as I can. I'm still building stuff, I'm just building antennas instead. But uh, yeah, I, I really want to um, spend some time enjoying the hobby and enjoying doing QSOs because at the end that's the whole fun of it. I mean, that's why we're building stuff to, to use them. And uh, yeah, I'm also planning to build a, a transceiver, uh, probably a, a monoband right now for SSB. Um, if I can get CW in it, that would be great. But I'm looking for something simple, but as analog as possible. Um, I'm, I'm trying to stay away from the digital. I'm keeping to my tradition. So no uh, VFO with SO, whatever it's called, uh, nothing. I'm going to try to build a traditional VFO. And uh, the only digital thing that I'm going to have in that, um, um, in that transceiver would be the frequency counter that Nigel sent me so I'm going to use this one because it's really tiny so I can make a tiny transceiver but yeah I'm gonna make a portable one probably the same a 5 10 watts maximum uh, for SSB that I built myself and I will be able to use that one as well but I'm still searching for a simple schematic with not many parts not very complicated stuff um, but still to do a good job. I mean, I don't want to do something messy. So we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm sorry again, I'm not building anything this week. I promise I'm, I'll be back with Antenna uh, next week with the Yagi. And then the video after that, we are going to actually use it and try to do some QSOs with, uh, with the Baofeng uh, satellite QSOs. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about the whole thing. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Watch my log. On, uh, on, the, on the website, uh, on the About Me section, if you go in right there, you have a, um, a menu with uh, two pages right now. It's about the um, About Me information that I usually used to have in there. And right now I also have um, um, a log, a logbook, um, and it's real-time logbook. I'm updating it every five minutes, but I think I'm going to change that to three minutes. So yeah, every time I'm on air, uh, that logbook will will uh, update nearly automatic. It, it, it is up updating automatically, but nearly real time. So yeah, uh, you can watch there and you can see that all the, the uh, QSOs that I'm making, I'm using five watts from the transceiver and uh, the end-fed wire half wave. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll wait for you uh, next uh, week for the video with the Yagi antenna. Until then, 73, I have a beautiful weekend. And thank you all of you uh, that are in my logbook for the QSOs. You, you made me a very, very happy kid <laughs> to, to be able to talk to you. So yeah, thank you so much. And thank you to all of you who sent uh, QSLs uh, using uh, 
how it's called hard log whatever and um, EQSL and logbook of the world and QRZ and, and everything so yeah I'm gonna probably make a separate video about QSL uh, at some point so anyway thank you 73 and have a beautiful weekend United Alpha 1, Charlie, Charlie Lima, radio for you is 5 and 9. Okay, United Alpha 1, United Alpha 1, Charlie Lima, radio 5 and 9. Please, Nam, uh, Nam, Bayot.